Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Hey everybody, welcome back to a quick beer review, another budget beer review. Uh, courtesy of my man Roy, appreciate you bro. Uh, we reviewed, I don't know, a couple days ago, Lone Star, and he also sent me from Texas, Lone Star Light. Texas Light, it says. The National Beer of Texas. Is that true, by the way? I think I asked in my Lone Star review. Like, do Texans really consider this their National Beer of Texas? I don't know if that's... Eh, maybe. It says it on the can. Should we believe it? I guess so. Um, I don't know the ABV of this beer because, much like Lone Star, they don't put the ABV on the can. So, I don't understand it. I just... I'm not going to go crazy. I do it all the time. Like, the ABV needs to be printed on the can. They show, I said this in the other video, they have the, like the nutrition facts, but not the ABV. So um, this says based on average analysis, oh gosh, this stupid light, 110 calories per serving. So I'm guessing this is around 4%, 4.1%, somewhere around there. Um, I don't know what Lone Star, regular Lone Star was, probably like four and a half percent. I Fuck, I don't know. We don't know. Lone Star, nobody from Lone Star is going to watch this. If somebody from Lone Star watched this, please print the ABV on the can. Like, what the fuck are we doing? Uh, I didn't hate Lone Star. It's Roy said, listen, it's cheap beer. You're probably going to hate it. I don't hate cheap beer. So um, it wasn't bad. He sent me um, a six pack of 16 ounce cans of both of these, and I will happily drink all of them. So I figured we'd drink the light version of this too, because he was kind enough to help me out. So let's do it. Look at the head on that. It is beautiful. I've been pouring beers hard lately. Um, ever since I saw that video <laughs> of the dude from restaurant, what is it, Restaurant Impossible? No, what's that guy's name? Restaurant? What's the weird looking dude who slicks his hair back? And he was talking about how you need to pour beers hard and create a large head on them because it like helps with bloating. That's I've been doing it. And maybe, I don't know if that's true. <laughs> I've just been doing it. But um, this beer looks really light. It is straw yellow, plenty of carb, tons and tons of bubbles in the glass, and there's a good two fingers of just super marshmallow we had. Looks awesome. Let's smell it. This actually has like a little bit of skunk thing to it. I like it. Almost, I mean, it's a light beer, so it's not like quite to that, but almost like a Heineken vibe. I'm like, I've talked about this in other videos. I love that smell in a beer for some reason. I don't know what it is. Mickey's had it for me. Heineken has it. Um, there are Mexican lagers that have it. I enjoy that. This is grassy too. Grassy, hoppy. Um, doesn't smell hoppy like you're drinking an IPA, but yeah, there's definitely like grassy hops. There's a sweetness to it. I think I like the way this smells more than the regular Lone Star did. I should, I mean, I could still do a side-by-side -side, um, video of those, but I think this one smells a little bit like more like beer, more intense. Let's taste it. Roy, cheers. Thanks, bro. Super light, um, but not bad. Nothing mind-blowing, nothing life-changing, but this is just super easy drinking. Like I could imagine summertime in Texas, probably like 157,000 degrees outside. You mow your lawn, you get done, you go in your garage and you drink like 17 of these. <laughs> just so light, so like crisp and thirst quenching. The skunk thing that I was smelling, you don't taste it. It's more just like white bread crust. Maybe a little bit of grassiness to it, but yeah, this is just light, grainy, cereally, um, just easy drinking cheap beer. I think it's the same thing with this one. Uh, six pack of 16 ounce cans was like $8 and change. Um, super cheap. I mean, you can't, I'm trying to think in San Diego, I think Pizza Port's still the only one who is selling six packs of 16 ounce cans. Uh, but those are like, you know, craft beer IPAs. I can get six packs of Swamis for like eleven ninety nine at places. Um, so, you know, $8 and change for a six pack of tall cans. Like, that's not a bad deal, I don't think. I did have to pay for shipping, so <laughs> it came out to be a little bit more than that. But um, this isn't anything offensive. Nothing that's going to change your life. But this is easy drinking light beer. Like, I 
don't hate this either. Do people hate Lone Star in Texas? Like, if anyone's from Texas and you hate this beer, why do you hate it? It's not bad. Like I said, it's not great. It's nothing special, but I don't mind it at all. Um, it'd be fun to drink this against, you know, the big boy mass-produced, you know, distributed macro uh, lagers like this versus Coors Light, Bud Light, Miller Light. Like, it'd be fun to do that. I think it would kind of hold its own you know, when you're drinking a blind against those ones. So I don't, like I said, don't hate it. It's fine. It's light beer. You know what that is. So uh, I think I, I'm telling you, I think I prefer this to regular Lone Star. Maybe I'll do a side by side of those and see what I really think when I'm drinking both of them and don't know which one's which. But I do. I think I like this one better than regular Lone Star. So there you go. Lone Star Texas Light. <laughs> it's not bad in my book. You guys fans of this one? Who drinks this? Anybody? We'll find out. So uh, that's it. Another budget beer of the books. Appreciate you guys watching. See you soon. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade, all that shit. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.